Hello, this is F Nugget, and I'm here to show you Expert Cam. Uh, my old camera was Free Cam, now I've got Expert Cam and Expert Object. Uh, the Expert Cam gives you this menu, four different uh, cameras, uh, Bezier control, turning the HUD on and off and uh, frame number and loading and saving camera paths or that will really help um, you can control the distance of where the uh, camera is looking at with this uh, big sphere I call it the look sphere and uh, the little sphere has this uh, height stick under it and a little transparent platform so you know exactly where it is. Uh, all right. Uh, let's view the replay so we know what we're working with. A left punch, right punch, and then another hit over the top, and then a uh, head grab on the left side on the back. And he turns around and he spins. So, I think uh, we want to start from the left, then move around back. Now the advantage of getting the look sphere uh, in is that you can tell how far the distance is. Let's step through until the punch. All right. We'll put another um, keyframe. Uh, you can also see exactly how the distance and put it exactly inside objects that you want to focus on. Although this is not really centered, but eh, okay. Keyframed. Alright, right punch. So, there. We'll swing around coming from below so move it down this has too much foot so move up a bit we'll find our center then move the uh, look sphere so we get the appropriate distance Alright, as you can tell, it's pretty much a lot like a free cam. Uh, the updates you probably won't see yet, just yet, but uh, you can see the numbers floating, and that's going to be where all the keyframes are. But for now, we're just getting the exact angles that we want.
All right. Now you can see where all the uh, camera points are. I'm pressing uh, forward and back to cycle through the uh, key keyframes. Seat cam here lets you uh, follow the path. And uh, bez mode and pause mode switch between uh, whether you control the beziers or the position of the camera spots. Path cam follows the path, obviously. So, right now, we'll just smooth out smooth out the path by controlling the bezier points. You can cycle ahead to see which direction would make the most sense to uh, make it smooth. Actually, it's probably e the best way to start is to uh, make everything smooth. So let's just do that. Alright, now for the actual camera position, not where it's looking yet. Cycle through. Give this a little more push. Now see here, there's a... You can't see the path between them, and that's just a math error, but you can... Uh, control the scale. Uh, I think we should go smaller. Or not. Maybe we need to go bigger. There it is. Okay. So yeah, sometimes the path will disappear, but you can bring it back. Yeah, you can stretch it really far if you want the path to conform to the Bezier path or point. Oh, uh, whoops. Move the line back there, the look point back there instead of the position. Let's just fix that. All right. Now this was the really wide turn, so we need to make sure Okay, everything looks good Let's see how it is Oh, that point was a little bit fast Let's see... Right Okay, so now we can look at the frame number, 128. It's after this 124, so we can switch back to free cam and then move the points around. This is uh, perfecting our path to make it a little bit more smooth. Sometimes it can be a mess. <laughs> I think it uh, went up a bit too much, so we'll make it flatter. Eh, that's better. Let's see how the rest goes. Now here the position's a little too close. Um, 
that's somewhere around 440 so let's go through somewhere between 200 and 500 um, we could try to change the uh, bezier I'm not sure about that I'll probably bounce at the end there too much a little bit should be okay alright get that out a bit more let's make this even up switch back the path let's see how it goes Still a bit close. Uh, whoops. Uh, I'm not sure where we are. I can switch to different cameras to find out. Alright. Let's see want to drag it out a bit more but we've already dragged it out a lot so I think we'll just run the replay up to then and what what the camera script script can do now is also add in points in between paths that are already made so we'll just insert a point to switch to look cam to see exactly where we're looking let's see C cam to see exactly where the position is that's too close I'll step back Get the distance. Make a keyframe. All right. Now you can see another point has been added in between, and we can control the bezier from there. So, even that up. Maybe a little less. All right. Now for the look position, yeah, it's a bit messy. Let's change the scale, see if we can make out what's happening. It's such a small movement, we probably don't have to deal with it. All right. Good, not so close anymore. All right, let's see how it goes with everything turned off. Great. Now uh, let's turn it back on, show you the save function. And here I'll just uh, throw in a bunch of random points. Let's see, switch to, switch to the look cam. Add a bunch of points. Yeah, look at all those zeros and one, two, four, forty one. Load it and everything's back to normal, just like we saved it. And that's it. Expert cam.